Up next, I expect things to get completely out of control. We have one of our breakout talents against Apollo Crews. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Cedar Rapids, Iowa, weighing in at 206 pounds, the WWE Hardcore, the Mastodon, Nick Satoru. Here we go. The singles match will not disappoint. I can guarantee you that. You're right about that. Let's get it going. Man, I can't wait to see these two square off in one-on-one -on -one action. And his opponent, from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 240 pounds, Apollo Crews. And there he is, Apollo Crews on the way to the ring. These two have been waiting for this one for quite some time, and to be honest, so have I. Oftentimes in our business, the only way for personal issues to be ultimately resolved is two superstars enter the squared circle and go one-on-one -on -one in a good old-fashioned wrestling match. Don't be surprised at all if these guys attempt to one-up each other in this one. Both these superstars are going to find out about themselves real quick. And hey, I still can't believe they pay me for this. He's left the ring. This could get interesting. Guys, let's quickly discuss Apollo Crews. You have to respect the way he goes about his business. He's all about getting the W, and fans seem to love him for that. It's still early, but I really like his chances here tonight. He certainly looks more focused than I remember seeing him in recent weeks. Well, in this world, you got a chance to make a national impact every time you step in the ring. How can he walk? His leg has been beaten and battered. It must be seriously injured. Yeah, this guy's going to need some medical attention. That's a textbook maneuver. And that's patented Michael Cole.
I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. A strike out of nowhere. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Displaying a wide range of offense here. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. Man, these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. He's starting to stumble here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I'm not concerned. I don't think I've ever seen him look more motivated than he looked heading into this match. Well said, John. And now's the time for one of these guys to take hold of this match. <laughs> Cruz seems to have lost a step now. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. If it's me, I'm focusing my attention on winning the match inside the ring. All this time on the outside doesn't appear to be doing him any good. Oh, man, but this guy has spent a lot of time outside the ring. If I were him, I'd just keep this one inside the ropes and finish this thing. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The breeze may give him a cold. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. Outside of the ring here, there are so many different tools at your disposal. Yeah, they are literally everywhere. It's Apollo Crews with a kick. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. All this action outside the ring, real dangerous out here. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Whoa, whoa! Look at the air he got there. That's unbelievable. Cruz is really starting to fade now. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Don't count him out yet, Michael. I'd be shocked if this is the end of the road for him. Oh, man. I didn't anticipate this match being as closely contested as it's been. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. No kidding. This is going to need some serious medical attention. There's absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. Action outside. What type of competitor is favored when you step outside the ropes, King? Well, in my opinion, the more vicious, the more destructive person that's willing to do absolutely anything to hurt his opponent, regardless of the consequences, he has the advantage. He's showing no signs of letting up. And the action could not be contained inside that ring. This could be it. Whoa, when you get nailed with something like that, you know your opponent smelled. For the pin and the win. One, two. What the, he's out. He kicked out. He kicked out. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. I'm in shock. He simply refuses to stay down. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. All this action outside the ring. Real dangerous out here. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor.
so damaging out here, King. He's doing everything he can to get his bearings back here. Otherwise, this match could be over sooner than anyone could have anticipated. Yeah, Cole, this is when you have to settle things down. Get the blood flowing back in your body and strategize what your next move or your next form of attack will be. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist, whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not going to be comfortable for a while. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. He's in full-on attack mode now. to be ashamed of in this one. Yeah, you're right. It's just a shame that someone had to lose. Man, when you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. As we close the book on this match, I need to...